Hi everyone, my name is Susan Wong from Capital Lifestyle and today I am at Nairobi's newest hotel called Movenpick Nairobi. Of course it features 360 degree revolving restaurant called The View and many other must-see places. So today I have Sharon Mendia. We work together at Capital but also we produce web content. Our two cents. Yes, called Our Two Cents. But most of you will know Sharon as that amazing blogger, that lifestyle curator, that Instagrammer, that traveler, that mummy, that yummy mummy. I thought it'd be really nice to kind of get to know you in a different way. So with the help of a specific accessory, I'm going to get to know Sharon a little bit better. Play your cards right. Oh my, and you know how much I love games. I know, exactly. So, so I thought this would be a great way to get to know you, even for me to surprise myself. Cause okay. Sometimes I feel like I just assume I already know your answer. Right. And excuse my, my nasally yeah. sound. I got a cold. Hopefully I would pass it on, but we'll see. <coughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So let's begin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Uh, boom. Okay. The Six of Spades okay. reads, if you could change one physical and non-physical thing about yourself, what would it be? Okay, so I think physical mm -hmm. aspect, I would, it would be my nails. I have this nasty habit of biting, I can't even show you. Okay, maybe I can't. You, like, look at look at how bad no close I, up. No close up. No close up, guys. Just for my eye. Oh I, my god! I, look at what I do to my nails. Like <gasps> sure, I. but then you look know. Look at that. When you like, like. It's ugly. It can it's crack. disgusting. It cracks, and that's when I even like it more because I peel it even more. Wow. Physically, that's what I would change. Okay. And then non-physical. Uh, Uh, maybe I would like a few more stamps on my passport. <laughs> Pick another one. Okay, well, let's go this way. Boom. Okay, ten of clubs. What is something you wish you did more in your life and something you wish you did less of? Okay, did more. Uh, I wish I did more of healthy eating starting from when I was younger because I think I, I think our generation is a little spoiled my parents growing up all they had was like or, real organic, healthy organic straight organic. from the Shamba yeah. type of foods right but our, our dinner it's we're a little spoiled for choice so I think my choices could have could have been better so I'd have made better uh, healthier choices less of I wish I cared less about what people thought from early on, early on. And I'm learning to do that better and better, where I'm just like, uh, whose opinion really matters versus whose doesn't? But that's the one thing I think we, so we could all do less of, which is caring what yes. other people think. Because like you, you put yourself out there with social media, and she's always you know part of the media space. Right. You're on TV shows and things like that, yeah. talk shows. So it's interesting that you also struggle with something like of that. Of course. I mean, there's like, tens of thousands of people and voices and opinions and if you let it it can it can it can overwhelm you so specifically hundreds of thousands of people check her instagram hello <laughs> ding shameless okay. plug thank you <laughs> yes. okay we're going with this actually we'll go with this first oh, one, the first one. Okay, yeah okay Ooh, ten of hearts okay what's the stupidest thing you've ever done for love oh I can tell you something someone did that I was like, oh, you're on, you're on with that one. <laughs> like it didn't hit the spot. No, for you? I'm not, it, it was really sweet, but I was just like, there is no way on earth I'm gonna do that. Okay. And so someone got a tattoo. Of your name? No, of S. <laughs> for you? <laughs> and it was like a, oh, yeah, you're. Uh, okay, let's do the last one here. The Bailey Edge. Ace of Clubs. When it comes to love and relationships, what is the first lesson you want to teach your children? Ooh, this is good. Because um, she has a daughter named Nyla. I do have a... You guys have, have no clue yeah, what's going on. Who's uh, one right now. So she's still a long way before I'm teaching her anything about love because she, you know, it's a long way. Mm -hmm. I think the number one thing is to be clear on the values that are meaningful to you because sometimes we get lost with the feeling and this feels good yes. but we let go of the values and to, to understand what those are and what they mean to her that's the one thing I would want her to take away from 
love because it's it's a it's a ride and a half. So, what's something you're really bad at? <sighs> like nothing. This is a hard one. I'm gonna have to think about I know, this I'm one. Like nothing. Oh god, we might be here for a long time, guys. I can be in my own little bubble sometimes, mm. so I'm not really good at opening up to new people mm. and having great conversations with strangers. And I start to panic and I think, oh my god, I want to go home. <laughs> this is a lot. So I wish, I, on a serious note, I wish I was better at mm. that and allowing myself to just be in the moment, be comfortable with people. And yeah. Okay, one last one. Last one. Make it good. Oh, hearts. Okay. Nine of hearts. On a scale of one to ten, yeah. how happy are you? Okay. Right now, I would say eight and a half. Yay! Because I'm which is good, right but here. I, <laughs> it could be better if I if I didn't have this cold that I was trying to fight. But in life, I genuinely don't remember the last time I was this at peace and grateful with where my life is. Oh, so that's feeling really good. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. Thank you for sharing your tea, coffee with coffee. me. Cheers, Susan. Sorry, I didn't share my chocolate, but it's okay. You can see, see I'm making. Hour. I, I'm making better choices. I'm sticking to to their ginger tea, which is, there by the way, go. amazing. It's what my system needs. But thank you for having me. Thank you for playing your cards right. Nice <laughs> <laughs> to see you. Yeah, thanks. Nice to see you. Bye, guys. <laughs>